This tutorial will introduce you to the block flexure toppling model in Rock Topple. Select project settings from the toolbar or the analysis menu. Select analysis, project settings. Under the toppling model tab, you can see the two different models. Let's keep the block toppling model for now. We will change that later for a comparison. Select OK to close the project settings dialog. The input data option is the main input data dialog for Rock Topple. Select Analysis, Input Data. Under the Geometry tab, make the following changes. Set the slope angle to 60, slope height to 60, upper slope angle to zero, toppling joint spacing to eight, toppling joints dip to 60, overall base inclination to 30, and rock unit weight to 25. Under the base embedding strength tab, make the changes as follows. For both the base joints and the toppling joints, Set the friction angles to 30, and the cohesion to 20. Select OK to close the input data dialog. The model looks like the following, with a factor of safety of 0 0.808. Now we change to the block flexure toppling model to look at the effects. Select Analysis, Project Settings. Under the Toppling Model tab, select the Block Flexure Toppling Model. Select OK to close the Project Settings dialog. Note that the factor of safety has changed to 0 0.912. Select Analysis, Input Data. Note that there is now a new Internal Rock Strength tab. Because shear failure due to flexure in each block is now considered, we require the corresponding input data from our users. Unlike the base and toppling joint strengths, only the more Coulomb shear strength model is allowed. Let's change the friction angle to 30 degrees. Note that the factor of safety has reduced to 0 0.845. Under the geometry tab, Note that the overall base inclination is disabled. It is because in the block flexure model, the slope is linear. As a result, bedding dip angle and the overall base inclination have a fixed relationship. The overall base inclination equals 90 degrees minus dip angle. Therefore, with a 60 degree dip, a 30 degree overall base inclination is calculated automatically. Under the Point of Force Application tab, you can enter ratios between 0.5 to 1 for cases when the block above is sliding, shearing, or flexurally bending. These mark where the normal force from the block above is applied on the current block for equilibrium calculations. We will keep the defaults. You can read more on Point of Force Application in the Rock Topple Help. Select OK to close the input data dialog. The model looks like the following. The two toppling models yield comparable results. In the flexure toppling model, there is enough shear strength to prevent the fourth block from toppling over, and hence the higher factor of safety when compared to the block toppling model. This concludes the flexure toppling tutorial.